this is Kelly with Kelly's Trucking Adventures. I hope that everyone's doing absolutely fantabulous today. I just uh, wanted to take, I know, I'm hoping that you guys are having, that you can hear me okay. I'm kind of having to holler over my truck and uh, the APU beside me, but I am uh, having to take a little 34 hour reset here before I head off to my next load. And I've been having some problems with uh, air pressure tire warning um, coming off and it's alarming me like every day and it started to go down to like 89 and stuff and it tends to build back up and so I decided to uh, buy one of these air hoses that you can hook onto your glad hand so that you can uh, fill up your tire, fill up the tires with air. And I could also do your tractor, your trailer tires if you pulled up somewhere and you uh, went to pick up a trailer and it was low on air, it could be very helpful. There was a man the other day, I stopped at a truck, a rest area and he had a flat tire beside me and he asked me if I had one of these uh, hoses and I had seen them before, heard, kind of seen something about it before, but I really hadn't thought seriously about buying one yet. So I went on ahead and bought one and I just wanted to try to share this with you the best I possibly can. I don't have the little thing that goes on my head to hook my camera to it, unfortunately. So I'm not gonna be able to actually show you this in real life action, but I just wanna give you a general overview of what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna go on ahead and flip this camera around. Um, what you do is you uh, take, and I've already attached it, you take and attach the end of the hose to your red glad hand that supplies the air pressure to, uh, that supplies the air pressure to the trailer. And then, we um, go on over here, and this tire's one of them that's been kind of giving me grief, so I'm gonna take off the uh, valve stem cover. Which uh, also supplies readings to the um, sensor to tell you what's going on. And then this right here is the um, tire pressure gauge. It's a longer one, not the normal one you have with the car. It has to be a big one and one like for commercial vehicles or RVs. So I'm gonna take that and stick it on the end here and check my pressure. And that popped out. So we're at uh, about 90, I'd say about 98. So not too terribly bad. I've been kind of messing around with this a little bit already, but then I thought I really wanted to video this for you. So. Then we're going to go in to the uh, truck and see here's my, uh, my sensor that's been throwing off these alarms and so you know in order to check your pressure on here you kind of just scoot around it and it'll show you the pressure on your tires and as you can see my stuff is not my tires are not balanced out so no matter what I think it would be helpful to balance it out right now it's saying zero on that one so that's not good then what I'm gonna do is I've already pushed this in but you um, push in the uh, air supply valve the that uh, the, the red air supply valve and then that's of course going to supply the air back to the hose then we're going to come on back here and your yellow one is obviously going to free out because that's going to be for your brake to make sure that your brakes stay ignited then i'm going to take this um, and stick it on here into the uh This valve down and then we'll go on ahead and just push and then that's going to supply air this hose will supply up to 110 psi's of air to the tire and um, you know like I said I think it's a really handy thing to have available you never know when you're going to need it I think I paid about maybe 30 not 36 or 37 dollars for this hose but I really think that it's kind of come in really handy and it's something that I would suggest that you might want to consider um, putting on your truck because uh, I definitely think it could be a lifesaver. So thank you, Lyle, for reminding me of this. Lyle from No Hippie Trucking, uh, you know, he's awesome, wealth of knowledge and information and always willing to share his, um, his knowledge and experiences and um, all that good stuff with you. So I'm really grateful for, for that. Thank you, so thank you, Lyle. All right, so I'm gonna kind of just let it go for a few minutes because it does seem to take, um, it takes a little bit of time to fill this bugger up. I'm gonna go ahead and let that go. We'll see if we've made any progress here. I'm not gonna 
like have, do the whole thing with you guys. I just wanted to give you a general idea of what I'm doing here. So yeah, I don't know. I think it might be made a rope, might have rose two whole psi's in that short amount of time. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for commenting. And um, if you haven't already subscribed, uh, please feel, please do so. And um, give me a thumbs up if you like my video. And I promise to bring more content to you as soon as I possibly can. And as always, spread love, kindness, compassion, consideration, inclusion, uh, peace, thoughts and feelings of uh, blessings and uh, good intentions for your fellow brothers and sisters and um, instead of all that ugly stuff that's plaguing our universe. All right, everyone. Have a wonderful night and peace out. Thank you. Bye, guys.